He is at a point in his life and his career where I think a lot of other people would be slowing down or resting on their laurels, and he still puts in, as he puts it, 12 to 14 hour days. He sometimes takes breaks to eat and be a human being. He's just so driven. Wendell is, he's a children's book author and illustrator. Uh, he's predominantly known for his illustration work. He's been publishing in children's books for 25 years. Before that, he was a well-known uh, cover artist for books and publishing. And he's done, I think, over 2,000 book covers. Um, any, any of the books by David McCullough, 1776, John Adams, Truman. Um, he's done all of Pat Conroy's books. Um, most of Mary Higgins Clark and um, all of Jean Craighead George's picture books. And we've also made it a little more about his process, not just his finished works. So there's a section of the exhibit that's a recreation of his studio. When we saw pictures of his studio and went to visit, it's just a very inspiring, beautiful space. I hope they get a sense not just of Wendell Miner's work, which is beautiful and I think really evocative in itself. There's so many, I mean, because they're related to picture books, the narrative and the storytelling and the images are really powerful. But all of the things that go into his work as well, who he is as a person, um, how he became an artist, and again, the, the creative process of you know, what happens from start to finish. How do you go from an idea to a finished picture book?